God sent his son, Jesus, to break the chains. And at the moment we are redeemed, the chains are broken. That I believe with all my heart, just because the chains are broken, it does not mean they have been thrown down. As a matter of fact, I, I watch too many of us. Those old chains, we, we don't really uh, remember how to live without them because we've never known. You know, chain free living, that's new. Besides, I look good. Nobody would recognize me if I took these things off. They've only ever seen me with this burden. Every man, woman, and child who calls on Jesus Christ walks into his presence with a chain of their sin wrapped around their soul. And the day that Jesus Christ saves you from the penalty of your sin, he reaches up. He reaches to us and he... Uh, he breaks the chain. We, we don't throw it off. We don't accept the gift of being free. We wear our chains. We, we wear the chains of our bitterness. And we wear the chains of our And we wear the chains of our jealousy. And we wear the chains of our deepest rejections and pain. But this is not what a redeemed woman is supposed to look like. If you have your Bibles, would you turn with me to Galatians? I want us to take a look at what the Word of God has said. Galatians chapter 4. Verse 3, in the same way we also, when we were children, were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God.